with more and more people keeping snakes as pets these days, I often get asked how do they determine the sex of their snake. Now there's a couple of ways it can be done. The slough of the skin can often give you an indicator. If you've got the, the skin slough and count the subcortal scales, the higher level subcortal scales, the higher number will often signify male. Because the sex organs are retracted down the base of the tail, the tail in male snakes is longer than in the females. So if it's a low count, um, it's probably a female. If it's a high count, it's a male. Now, there is an overlap, so that's not going to give you a real hard and fast knowledge of the sex of your snake. The best way is to probe it. And you can buy sets of probes for sexing your snake from the pet shop. All my life, I've used two tools, and they're readily available. For bigger snakes, a bobby pin. Yep, a bobby pin has got a nice little rounded knob on the end of it so you can't damage the sex organ of the snake. And the other tool for smaller snakes I use is a needle. That end that you put the cotton through, it may be a little bit sharp, so I'll take the sharp edge off with an emery stone, and it works quite well. I remember uh, reading an article by Brian Barnett, that great old Victorian herpetologist. Yeah, Brian Barnett suggested when he was sexing his young snakes, he used nylon fishing line, and that would probably work good too. Lubricate your uh, tool, and I lubricate it just like that. A bit of fluid. You could use KY gel or a bit of Vaseline, but I find a bit of saliva works pretty good. And then you just proceed to probe the snake. Now remember, they have two sex organs, hemipenes to the side. Therefore, don't go down the centre of the tail. Go to the anal scale. Just slowly manipulate your probe down one side, just under the um, anal scale or scales, and um, gently proceed to push it in. If it's a female, it might go in one or two subcortal scale depth, but if it's a male, it will go in a surprising distance and uh, you'll know what sex your snake is. I'll grab a snake out and do a demonstration and hopefully you can see it. But that is a bobby pin. Here we have a Stimson's python. Quite a large individual, marginally over a metre in length. Let's see how we go sexing it. Now, if we put a body somewhere where it's supported, turn the body upside down, down near the tail. So you can see this. There's the vent, covered by the anal scale. Our probe, a bit difficult to lubricate it like this, but our probe is presented to the side of the anal scale and then penetrate. Ah, it's not going in much at all. This is actually a female. The probe has gone in no more than two subcortal scales. So this is a female, we'll put her back and we'll grab another snake and see if we have more success finding a male. Here we have a larger snake, this is a black headed python, it goes about 1.5 metres. Same thing again, support its body. We lay the, lay the body across our hand. Upside down, grab our probe, bit of lubrication, and let's enter the probe. There's the cloaca, or vent, just to the side of it. I don't know if you can see that, but the probe is entering quite readily. This probe is actually going down inside the male sex organ. That was the depth that the probe entered. This is definitely a male, and that's just a bit of slough skin off the sex organ. In fact, we 
you probably just see he's getting a bit sexually aroused there. He might go to the toilet in a moment too. Simple, doesn't hurt him. And uh, we now know, we've confirmed that this snake is a male snake. No worries, we just sexed a couple of non-venomous snakes. Not a problem. But if it's a venomous snake, the degree of difficulty and the hazard involved is a little bit greater. I'm assuming if you're going to sex a venomous snake, you're experienced. And with that experience, often comes the ability to identify sex on tail shape. Generally, if it tapers immediately after the vent or anus, it is a female. But if the tail is parallel for some length after the vent, then it is a male. If you've got a confirmed sex, you can actually tube the snake in PVC tube. Conduit, water pipe, uh, you can even buy special transparent tubes in various sizes purely for tubing snakes. But uh, you don't need to see through the tube, so any PVC pipe will do, long as it's of sufficient diameter to allow the snake to enter, but of small enough diameter to stop the snake from turning around. You'd plug the end with a cork or something, allow the snake to enter, so that just the tail and uh, maybe the last portion of the body is protruding and then manipulate your probe as we did with the pythons. That way the snake can't turn around if it takes offence and grab hold of you because it's been secured in the tube. No worries, you have a great day. Everyone I have is getting better. You be yoti. Catch you later. Ha <laughs> ha.